Hi, my name is Miss Peterson and I am the PE teacher at Weaver Elementary. And today we're going to talk to you about sportsmanship. It's something that we normally cover within many of our units. Oftentimes when we are doing big group activities, we discuss them kind of as they come up naturally within the course of the year. Since we are not all together this year, we thought a good way to do that would be through using a story. So I'm going to read you a book called Pig the Winner, and in this book you're going to see multiple examples of what good sportsmanship doesn't look like and examples of what good sportsmanship does look like. It is something that is really important as we work with others. We know that if we help build each other up, we all become better, and if you have a skill that you know that other kids maybe haven't had the opportunity to learn yet, you can be a great leader by helping them learn too. So, enjoy Pig the Winner. Pig the Winner by Aaron Blady. Pig was a pug, and I'm sorry to say, if he didn't come first, it would ruin his day. Yes, Pig was a winner. He just had to win and nothing would stop him. Oh, where to begin? Believe it or not, he was quite hard to beat. And the reason was simple. Yes, Pig was a cheat. Is it good sportsmanship to cheat when you're playing a game? No. Will your friends wanna keep playing if you cheat all the time? No. But if he did lose, he'd throw a pink fit. He'd scream and he'd cry and he just wouldn't quit. He'd sob and he'd sulk with a quivering chin till you gave up and said to him, okay, you win. But as soon as you'd said it, he'd clamp and he'd stamp and he'd rub it in loudly that he was the champ. Trevor would say to him, let's just have fun. But Pig would reply, it ain't fun till I've won. You can see they're playing some kind of racket sport game. And Pig is all intense and it looks like a little bit angry and the net is swirling like crazy. And Trevor's just like, I just want to play and have fun. And Pig's taking it all kinds of serious. So one night at supper, Pig shouted with glee, Who can eat faster? I bet that it's me. Trevor said shyly, I don't want to race. But Pig had yelled, Go! And was stuffing his face. He wolfed down his food, he gobbled his kibble. His face was awash with biscuits and dribble. He chomped up three sausages, all of them whoppers. Then he munched through his doggy treats, gnashing his choppers. What are choppers? It's like teeth. He swallowed it all in a minute or less. But something went wrong. Do you know? Can you guess? Because he was busy stuffing his hole, Pig didn't notice he'd swallowed his bowl. Uh -oh. Lucky for Pig, Trevor knew what to do. He squeezed out the bowl before Pig could turn blue. So Trevor is helping his friend here. He's doing what they call the Heimlich Maneuver, which helps to dislodge an object that's stuck in an airway so that the person can breathe again. So he's saving him right there, which is very, very good sportsmanship. But Pig didn't thank him. He just said, I win. Is that good sportsmanship to brag? No. Then the bull bounced right back. Boing, coming down. <gasps> Ooh, what's gonna happen here? Can you predict? 
and knocked Pig in the bin. <laughs> pig ended up in the garbage can upside down with banana peels and leftovers and fish bones and I'm not sure what kind of slimy stuff that is. These days it's different, I'm happy to say. Pig's not the winner each time that they play. He plays to have fun, and his tantrums have ceased. Yes, Trevor can win now. Well, sometimes at least. Oh, what's Pig doing here? He's cheating again. Is that good sportsmanship? No. All right, so I hope you enjoyed the book. We have a lot of different ways that we talk about sportsmanship in school and in PE. And it's important that, like this book talks about, that we aren't bragging and that we say good game when we're done, that we play for fun and we learn how to get better. We help those around us if they maybe are playing a game and are new to it and they need to learn how to do the skills instead of getting angry. It's much more beneficial if we can help them and use some of the skills we know and use our leadership qualities to help them get better too. Then everyone wins. So I hope you can find some ways to apply the different principles of sportsmanship that we talked about in this book as you're playing some games with your friends and family this month. I hope you enjoyed Pig the Winner.